Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. No idea what's in here. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Had to put a little bit of something on the top there to protect. He's got uh, shipping information on both sides. Um, this was sent by Justin. Thank you very much, Justin. Of course, if it is something that I can link right down in the description, I will make sure that it is down there. So you guys can check it out by opening the description. Okay, we have, I think I know what this is. <laughs> Hang on. What do we have? <laughs> can you guys guess? <laughs> Oh, man. So people who are unaware of the joke, right? I know, I know internally you feel the burning need, the burning need to let everybody know that knives are serious. And this abomination is a direct offense to the, the tactical darkness of your heart, right? The, uh, this, the, the, the noise coming off of this thing for humor is, is just drowning all that out <laughs> so aggressively. Oh, the Boker XXL Dessert Warrior. Oh my gosh. If there was ever a knife that we did not need at all and at the same time severely needed, um, it's this. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the best answer to... Right, like you got like the 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 uh, this never happens. But let's say you got you got Joe, and he's like, check out my new knife. And then you got you know you got Tommy, and he's like, yeah, that's nothing. Check this out, right? And you keep going down the line, and eventually someone has an Espada XL because they just you know they do. The the winner of that, right? It's kind of like when people go rock paper scissors dragon, uh, right? Boker XXL Kalashnikov beats uh, Cold Steel Espada XL every single time. I'm saying, you know what? I'm gonna call it right now. Uh, from now on, that is the that's the answer, right? Whenever someone uses, even in text form, Espada XL to trump whatever someone's talking about, this trumps that. You heard it on the Metal Complex YouTube channel. Let it be so. <laughs> the Boker XXL uh, des uh, Dessert Warrior trumps. <laughs> It's just automatically better, right? You can't no you can't handle, you can't comprehend the <laughs> the power, the raw power emanating off of the Boker Dessert Warrior. Oh my gosh. So we have um let's just assume like I know it's pink and with sprinkles, but like, you know, essentially the same relatively the same ballpark strength and impact resistance of adamantium. So we're going to go ahead and just, that's just going to go ahead and be true. Um, and then we have um, an Aussate uh, blade, which I, well, I can't even make a joke about that. So this, this is a uh, Desert uh, Warrior. A lot of people are saying, why didn't they do these in D2? Like they've been doing it. Yeah, I agree. They should have played. They've done all the other ones in D2. This is such a massive, ridiculous automatic knife. And it's been around for a while, right? Also, I mean, I, you know, if you're still with me and you don't know about the joke of this thing, right? If you're still with me at 445, in all seriousness, this was a joke a long time ago, right? Uh, I, I like stuff like this because the, the knife world is so, it's way too full of stuff that's just like, it. here's our new product. It's all black. It's Tanto, and it's some type of, you know, quick, like, you know, for you know, tactical advantage, this, that, right? There's too much of that, right? Too much of this pretend, like, oh, it's it's made spe uh, specifically for these types of, you know, black ops infiltrators when really it's just, they're just couch ninjas doing it, right? Like, that's what the, and, and, and that includes me, right? I, I definitely would define myself as a couch ninja who's just self-aware of the title, but... There's too much seriousness being marketed to regular people who are not going to implement. It's just a fantasy, right? Um, so stuff like this, to me, it breaks everything up and it makes it funny. It makes it hilarious, right? This knife obviously does not take itself seriously. 
The funniest part to me, I think the grand chair, the golden cherry on top of it all, is whenever you see this on Instagram, there's at least a few people that are just utterly offended that it exists. <laughs> That's, to me, it's like, the existence of this thing is not completely and totally justified unless you have <laughs> people hating on it. That's the best thing. Um, this is a, I think this is, the Boker uh, Dessert Warrior stands as a perfect example of, well, it's almost like a, a shining beacon, um, a reminder to everybody, hey, this is fun, right? Let's, I mean, not, knives obviously ca are capable of being serious tools, but let's not take ourselves too seriously, right? Let's not go that far. Um, it is, uh, you know, the, uh, the Boker Kalashnikov, the, the regular one, and I think the Mini are some of the best, like, well-priced budget autos out there, especially now that they've moved to D2. The XXL Kalashnikov, while it's kind of, you know, it, it can still, I'm sure, be practical in some situations. It's just kind of massively oversized and ridiculous. It's almost a joke in and of itself. The fact that they did a dessert warrior of this, um, much like they did the, you know, the mini and the regular sized one. This is the funniest one yet. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, just wonderful. Um, yeah, I don't know if there'll be a video on this. It might make uh, some joke appearances here or there, but I still wanted to take a look at it on the channel. I'll link Bo Boker Kalashnikov knives down in the description because truthfully, if you are not familiar with this series of knives, they really do, like the XXL, I'll be honest with you, you know, as far as like a side opener goes, it's pretty, you know, underpowered. It's kind of sluggish, right? There's, these are nowhere near the same power and ferocity of a uh, US made pro tech, right? Um, but they're still cool. The smaller ones fire a lot harder because the spring, it feels like it's the same coil spring that's, that they're using to, you know, in the, in the smaller ones. Those smaller ones, though, the mini and the regular size one, it's like, the one that's like seven and a half inches, I think, is the best. Um, those are some of the best price and most functional, you know, durable over time, resilient, how much more can I add to this, uh, automatic knives in existence. So you should check those out. Um, but, uh, I think this is something that even, even if you don't, you know, own this, I think this is, this is something we can all enjoy in a way. <laughs> and I very much do. Thank you so much. Uh, once again to Justin for letting me check this out. I think these are all gone now. Cause I mean, much to the frustration of the, you know, the tactical souls out there, um, who just can't stand anything to, to not, you know, to not be totally serious. <laughs> <laughs> these aggressively sell out and then sell for more on the secondary market, which I don't condone. It's just really funny. It's just a bigger slap in the face to people who are mad that this exists. <laughs> oh, man, this is the best. All of the screws are different colors that cracks me up. Um, it's the same aluminum. Like, this is made no differently than any of the other, you know, Kalashnikov models. So it's, it is plenty capable, right? Um, if you really wanted to take this thing out and use it, if you could imagine, <laughs> why you just whip this out <laughs> to cut something simple on a job site? Oh man, that's the best. Um, God bless the folks at Boker for come doing this. Uh, really funny. Okay, guys, I think, I think this was a Blade HQ exclusive, by the way. I think that's going to be pretty much it. Um, please make sure to... Follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.